Deliver us, my God, deliver us. Deliver us, my God, deliver us. Oh, 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 he will deliver us. Deliver us, deliver us, Ale Victory, victory, victory we have. He will deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My God will deliver. Alleluia. 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 He will deliver us. He will deliver me. Hey, Papa. Such, such a mighty man in battle. Such a show, show, show. Deliverer. Hey, Papa, thank you. Hey, show, Papa. Hey, show. Oh, do you? And content them. Oh, yeah. Asante, Papa. Hey, what can't you do? Thank you for this other opportunity, Papa, for this day, this new day, the 12th day, right, of this month and of this series. Hey, Papa, I give you all the glory, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You deserve the glory, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, Papa. Hey, yeah. Uh, Ah, that is why you are called Jehovah. Hey, Daddy. Hey, yeah. Hey. I, I love you, Lord. Oh, hey, Papa. Jesus, increase while I decrease this morning. Holy Spirit, come and help your girl. Let's do this. Touch the hearts that are there just crying out. They just need to be delivered from whatever yoke it is in this world. And oh my goodness, in their minds and mentally, anything, Papa, you know it all. Oh, just continue to use me to tell your people whatever you want to tell them, Papa. This morning you want to remind them that you can deliver them. They just have to come unto Jesus and just surrender it all. Hey, take all the glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Amen. Hey, yeah, my special love and healing ministry tribe. Another day, hey, hey, this is the day, another day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. Yeah, good morning, people. This has been an exciting journey, two of days in already, and uh, the Lord has been graceful, and I am grateful, right? Um, waking up, um, <laughs> oh my God, at, at early in the morning, right? Like Jesus used to do. In Mark chapter 135 tells us that he wake up early in the morning and go to a quiet place to pray. Okay, so I wake up, I do this and I do my morning devotions and 
Sometimes when the church is praying online, I join them. All of this is possible because the Lord delivered me for myself. <laughs> he delivered me for my flesh and he continues to do that. He can do that for you too if you come unto Jesus and you let him, you know, be your Lord and Savior. And, uh, you know, God is so compassionate. Uh, yet he's also a gentleman. He's not going to force anybody. He's not a dictator. And um, he tried, you know, to be very rigid with the Israelites and, you know, expect some things from them and all of that. And they were like, ah, he had, oh, Papa, he had, you know. So, Papa, you just deliver us. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, we see that in the Old Testament. And sometimes they will go a warring and then when they will be stuck, no cry out and you'll be quick to deliver them. And that is what um, the scriptures we are looking at today uh, uh, remind us of basically from the Psalms and from the book of Zephaniah. There's much more, you know, you can always go Google things up, you can pray. In short, the whole intention is just for you to know that you can come, the invitation is open, and uh, Papa is there looking out for those his children <laughs> oh my god the prodigal ones like i once was so hey yeah yeah ah okay oh papa hmm. so this is what papa says and this is what king david himself uh had realized and he was very quick to say to to write psalms not just one you know talking about that so we are not going to look at everything, of course, because the whole Bible is really to talk about how much the Lord loves us and how much he can deliver us on whatever we need to be delivered from if we just surrender it or and um, he can help us to walk in the, in the right path. If we just acknowledge it, that's what Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 says, right? So we just trust him with all our heart. We don't lean on our own understanding and we acknowledge him in all our ways his own steady ways and everything and he would you know show us the right paths to take so psalm 34 verse 7 tells us this psalm 34 verse 7 tells us this the angel of the lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them oh my god thank you sweet angel thank you my guardian angel Thank you for encamping round about me, about around them that fear the Lord. So if you fear the Lord and that fear doesn't mean that you are scared that he's going to just strike you dead. No, you have reverence for him, right? He will send his angel to encamp around you and will deliver you. Oh, that times when, well, yesterday, for example, I didn't wake up at midnight. I woke up at uh, 11 p.m. or 11.30. I woke up at 3, 2.34 a.m. So, you know, I I was not going to... <laughs> I wasn't awake to know what was going on at, at midnight. And I don't know, you know, the way I slept yesterday, I don't even know how I slept. Uh, I, I, it was just complete knockout, comatose. So I don't know what was happening around me. Sometimes you think that when you're awake, uh, you necessarily see what's happening. You cross over into the new year, cross over into the new day and all of that. Well, the truth is that you can't do nothing, you know. It's not by mind or by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. So what can we really do? Even if I stay up and I'm looking at a time like this, when that hour comes, that hour will come. So the best thing to do is to just let the Lord deliver. Let the Lord take over, you know, just come to Jesus. Say, hey, Papa, as I did sleep, so now you are the count on though. As I did go, so now you are the count on though. I'm speaking pigeon though. Know? As I'm sleeping like this, Papa, I'm counting on you. As I'm going like this, I'm counting on you. As I am, you know, all of those things, yeah. So, the angel of the Lord, this is it. Encamp it around, round about them that fear him and deliver them. Yeah, this is King James language. So, oh, oh. Those who are not fans of King James, you can go amplify it or message it or <laughs> New Living Translation, it whichever one you know. I just wanted that language today, and then um, now we move on to Psalm 56 from verse 11 to 
to 13. Oh my God. Psalm 56 from verse 11 to 13. Hey, uh, ha. Almost like Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. This one is a little more about the delivering. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Hey, the Lord will deliver you even from that fear in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver you from that, from the anxiety of what man can do unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Not to talk of what man can say, <laughs> whatever they say, what is that? Uh, just give it to the Lord and say, Papa, yeah, you hear what I say? I don't have me power. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really appreciate it, Papa, but I don't have me power. Oh, so, Papa, drop it at your altar. He will. He will deliver you from anything. Oh, my God. So, you, you have to just put your trust in him and do not be afraid of what man can do unto you. Look, why should you even be afraid of who, who can kill the flesh and not the spirit, man? <laughs> There's a magician in my country who seen that he let he will kill me, not die. You know, because if you're going to kill me and then still end up dying yourself, what is the victory you had? Nothing. Uh, and you know, uh, the Lord has all kinds of ways of delivering someone. Uh, some he just said, okay, just get out of this world altogether. You know, so your time is up. That is still deliverance for some. You know, oh my goodness, Lord. Okay, thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. Hey, the Lord has made these precious promises in his word. And he keeps his word. His words are yea and amen. So, oh, he's not a man that he should lie. Yes, Papa. So if the Lord says, trust me, he means trust me. Hey, okay, oh. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Yes. Can the dead praise you, Papa? No. So, oh, as long as I live, as long as I live, I am on your side, oh, Papa. That you have delivered my soul from death. Me sitting here personally. Ay, yeah, hey, yeah. Ooh, Papa, you don't deliver me, oh. Hmm. And now he delivers my feet from falling. And I, I, honestly, my God does it. When I think about some of the battles he has fought for me, my own was pray, praise, even cry, pray. Praise, cry, pray, praise, cry, <laughs> whine. And then he was doing it. Doing it in all kinds of ways. Hey. Snatching me. Snatching me. From the snares of the fowl. Protecting me. Hey. Someone speaking. He has made until they can speak no more. They now speak in favor. <laughs> God, only you. Only you can do. Hey, Papa. What no man can do. You know, like David used to run after the lion to deliver his sheep. Can you imagine? So, yeah, just, just, just picture that. That is how the Lord delivers our souls from the pits of darkness from all that worry that anxiety that depression that to be honest let me let me just talk about me i was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder in 24 when you hear disorder it means disorder i remember a day when i was receiving a whole grant from the american embassy and i went there and instead of coming out joyful i came out with a crisis right i mean to the point where <laughs> my host <laughs> That was the first time of hosting me in their house. They, they, they said they're not hosting me anymore in their house again because they were scared. Okay, but by the grace of God, I have been delivered from all of that. Like, I'm not on any antidepressants, psychotic, nothing. I don't have those. I mean, when the least anxiety or the least sense of sadness or anything wants to come, I'm like, Holy Spirit, oh, and I am delivered. So let's let's really think about this. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 tells us this. 
The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. In short, the Lord takes delight in delivering his own. Of course now, if David could run after lion to deliver sheep, what would Papa not do to deliver us? Hey, people of God, oh, let's return to our first love. Let's return to our first love, oh. Jesus is calling, calling someone today. Hey, tomorrow might be too late, you don't know. Today, today, today is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made for you to listen and harden not your heart. For you to listen with some ears that would understand, not just listen, not just watch to say, hey, ah, that get fine, oh, 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 past that level, oh. And you know, the veil has been torn. That is what Jesus did, one of the things he did. So we have direct access to the Father. No one has to offer sacrifices and there's no more bullock to kill, no goat, no hen, no chicken, no cow, no cat, no nothing. No, what, no owl, no nothing. If those other fake people are doing those kind of things, you cannot stoop that low. To go and be relying on the blood of chicken and fowl and bed and fish and all kind of thing. When Jesus' blood is there, you know. So just come to him. I'm telling you, I came to Jesus. Oh my goodness. He changed my story. And the Lord, God, his father, my father, delivers me. I, 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 I was telling my bishop recently that I don't even have time to cry anymore. I don't have to. Look. That crying even there, sometimes just a distraction, just wasting your energy. Take it to the Lord in prayer. He will deliver you. You know, his word doesn't fall down, come down, and return to him void without accomplishing the purpose for which it was sent. So if he said it, he will do it. God says it, and I believe it, that said to sit. God says it, and I believe it. That settles it, period. What can who tell you? Why should be afraid of what man will say, what man will do? Who is that man now? Men mortal like you? You yourself, who are you? You're wasting time turning around. And getting more and more enmeshed in all kinds of situations and scenarios. And time is passing. The clock is ticking. And the devil is there staring. Spying. Even attacking in all kinds of subtle ways. Instead of running to Jesus. And getting this protection and this fortress and this assurance. You are there trying to figure it out on your own. HD go. <laughs> like in my case. Uh, <laughs> Please, oh, my brother, my sister, come to Jesus and be satisfied. He invites you, he invites me, he invites us, you know, and he's no, there's no condition. There's no age, there's no nothing. He just says, come, all you are weary and heavy laden. Oh, my God. And he will give us rest for our soul and then see the kind of wonderful father you will be having now. You remember Jesus said we are co-heirs. Hey, we'll look at Jesus soon. Oh. Let's finish with the Father first. So this is what I wanted to share with us tonight. And I'm so grateful. Sweet, sweet, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you for helping your girl once again. Oh, la, 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 la. You know, let's continue and do our devotions and everything before we sleep again. I'm so grateful. Continue to deliver us, Papa. <clears throat> amazing amazing papa awesome papa thank you jesus it's all about you continue to increase while i decrease 
and you let your light in me so shine so that men will see your good works in and through me and glorify our papa who is in heaven no i thank you so much for everything darling jesus it's in your mighty name that i pray amen okay everybody have a wonderful monday and um, a new week wow this is it huh? a new week we are getting into the uh, this is just we are already in the second week right soon it's going to uh, be the 14th and so we'll be looking at the third week of the month of august i hope it's been coming up well since um the number eight number of new beginnings so i really really pray right and um, if there's any difficult situation don't hesitate the lord has promised and he will keep his promises ever so faithful our god take care everyone see you tomorrow god bless us all